Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man. Since December of 2018, I've been living strictly in Mauritania. I'm an ultimate Iron Man account, which means I can't use banks and I can't trade other players. This is my story. I'm going to be taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. Are we rolling? We're rolling. It's on. Okay. <clears throat> Citizens of Moitania, this is an urgent announcement. We have reason to believe that there is a man terrorizing the town of Canifus. Our sources state he's an extremely buff, strong man wearing a, a snail on his on his head. And he's carrying a, a, a whip. Well, this can't be right. Oh my god, Jerry. Jerry, are you getting this? Tell me you're getting this. Oh my god, it's him. Jesus Christ, he's ruthless! Look away! Look away! Jerry! Jerry, is is he looking at us? Holy shit, he's coming this way! He's coming! Look at The last episode ended with the undisputed greatest victory of the entire series to date. After two months of escorting NPCs from point A to point B, we now have our best weapon to take on the theater. We went from 42 strength bonus to 82. So to say the least, we are strong. But there's something missing. On May 5th, we unlocked Necreals, which unlocked yet another piece of strength boosting gear. And on April 15th, we lost our strength amulet. We're extremely close to achieving our maxed out melee setup within our restrictions. There's just a couple puzzle pieces missing. We're also one final lamp away from achieving the goal I set over five months ago now. All right, guys, we are initiating the 10 month process to getting Hunter. This is going to be our first Hunter lamp. Oh my goodness, the end of an era, the end of the construction lamping era. Fast forward to June and with this final level, I'm going to be able to train it normally. Pursuing the infamous 99 Hunter and unlocking Lucky Implings. It is time. It is time to clear some space. We're going to sell all of this. I no longer need it. Uh, we got what we came here for. You know, I just realized I sold all that stuff to the shop that buys everything for really dirt cheap. I got blinded by my excitement. Why am I so excited? What happened? Main objective. 27 Hunter. Unfortunately, it's a waiting game. I can't really speed up the process, but there is so much to do in the meantime while I wait for this final lamp. So let's get to work. The steel chain, the bronze skirt. Oh man, I guarantee you, I am the first person in game to have worn this exact combination of gear. There's actually no way anyone has worn this exact set of gear before. I weirdly really like it. The chain and skirt are super iconic for whatever reason. Oh, the whip is shredding, man. Definitely expect me to drool over the whip a lot in this episode, by the way. Oh, look at it, man. We're initiating step one, my friends. Part one of the rebuild. We need that strength amulet back. Our current max hit with the whip is a humble 26. Once we get that strength amulet back, we'll be up to a max hit of 28. That is what I call power. All right, second key, come on. Oh no. Medium clue scroll on chest number four. I can't do it, but. Oh, we did find the bag. That is actually one of the things I was looking for. The flam tier bag allows you to carry a lot more supplies for rebuilding the temple. Hopefully I didn't actually need it and I won't be here that long, but you never know with this place. You really never know. There it is. Oh my god. Yes. I've been here all day. That's not even an exaggeration. I was about to go to bed. Uh, I started this yesterday, actually. So yeah, I've been here a while. 92 strength bonus now. An absolute machine. We can now hit 28 with the whip. That is fantastic. Let's go get even stronger. That was step one. 
Okay, so I may have lost money, but you know what? That's fine because I got a lot of prayer experience. And that's really all that matters. So let's go get some rune boots. Not gonna lie, it took so much willpower to not kill Necreals as soon as I unlock them, but now we get to do it the right way. The rune boots are only one in 116, so this shouldn't actually take too long. And once we do get them, we will most likely be back here eventually. These guys have a crazy good drop table. Uh, seeds, soft clay, tons of different rune items to Alk, they're pretty unstoppable. Well, there you go, exhibit A. The rune full helm is clearly an upgrade, but I honestly think the Snelm has way too much emotional value at the moment, so... Adamant Kite Shield, that's an upgrade, myth to Addy. Is there anything Necreals can't do at this point? Oh, there they are. This account's luck, man. Can we talk about that, please? Whip on 45 kill count. These boots must have been like under 30. Like straight up, there's no way I killed more than 30 Necreals. Unfreaking real. Let's put them on. Oh my god. What a machine. Look at that. Absolute machine. We unfortunately still have a max hit of 28, but 94 strength bonus. Uh, as soon as we hit 92 strength, we'll be hitting 29. So. Two gigantic strength upgrades, that is pretty awesome. Season three, AKA green cape season has almost peaked. This is gonna be the look that we're rocking for now. So we've made some solid progress in the last couple days. We got our amulet back, we got the boots, and we're now up to 65K cash. Not a bad rebuild, if I do say so myself. I've gotten 10 random events in all this time, but unfortunately no genie yet to get that 27 hunter but we're gonna keep working on other things while we wait. I don't know if I've introduced this grind before, but I do need 55 herb lore in order to make super strength potions. My current best way to train herb lore, however, drum roll please, is temple trekking. Jeez, calm down guys, stop the applause. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared of temple trekking right now, uh, because this time if I die, I lose my whip, I lose my boots, I lose my amulet again, so it is kind of scary. I just need to pay really, really close attention. So I got these from one hard trek, and I want to see how far I can get with 14 Terramins. Uh, back in episode 9, I was doing Herblore training this way, and since you make Serum 207s with the Terramins, you can actually refuel your herb supply just by curing the villagers. Well, 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 there is 43 herb lore, as you can see. Been at it for, I want to say, about 70 minutes. And for 70 minutes, I've been using the same 14 Terramins. That's pretty damn crazy, actually. So I'm going to be alternating the 55 herb lore grind with one of my other pre-theater of blood grinds. I'm gonna need 73 smithing to make adamant bolts, and gargoyles are how we're gonna do it. I'm estimating about 10,000 kills for 73 smithing, and then obviously using all the ores and the bars is gonna take a while, but I'm predicting around 150 hours for 73 smithing, which makes it actually my second shortest grind for the theater of blood. Oh, look at it. That's 750 smithing XP on the ground right there. I am literally being bullied right now. What the heck, man? It looks like he lives here. What the? There it is. Oh my God, the final GD. It's been a long time coming. A long, long, long time coming. That is quite the understatement. I just realized I don't have to obsess over random events ever again. Oh my God. Well, over the last seven months, I've obsessed over genies and dunces and it all comes to an end. I no longer have to look out for five minute intervals or instances. 27 Hunter, I can officially barehand baby implings. My new fastest hunter training method. The satisfaction, man, but that's not the only thing either. Let's take a look back on episode six real quick. I will eventually be able to make my salve Amy, but what I need for that first is 27 hunter, and that way I can catch baby implings, which will get me a ball of wool, and then I can finally string my salve Amy. So that, that's a bit far off from now, but baby implings are my only way of getting a ball of wool, so that is what we're gonna be hunting for. Uh, being able to make a salve amulet is ridiculously important for the future, and I'll explain all the reasons why if we can get ourselves the ball of wool. Thankfully, I'll only need to use implings up until 29 hunter. That is when the real hunter training begins. And I have a little theory to test as well that could shorten our hunter grind by around 60 to 70 hours. Oh my god, look at it. The first one I see that I can actually catch. All right. 
20 XP drop. Oh man, less than 1k to go until 28. I'm currently using one alt account to scout and hop worlds with. It literally just doubles the speed of this. There are only two impling hotspots in all of Mauritania, and thankfully they're fairly close together. The first one is the one I'm currently at, which is at Fenkenstrain's castle. And I've seen up to three implings around here all at once. But as far as I can tell, there's one high tier impling spawn and one low tier impling spawn. Impling spawn in tiers. Low tier is anything from baby to eclectic, and we move into the higher tier imps when we hit nature all the way to lucky imps. The second spawn is just south of the Slayer Tower, which I believe also has one high tier and one low tier impling spawn. I'm not too well versed with impling mechanics just yet, but over the next couple episodes, I plan to learn everything there is to know about them and attempt to learn a force spawning method to make it go as fast as humanly possible so we can get this rune crossbow. Impling number three. <gasps> Oh, ho, ho, there it is. Fall of Wolf, third impling. Wow, that was a lot quicker than I thought. There it is, man. We can now make a salve amulet that I uh, wanted to make in episode six, but could not. All right, this is the one, 28 Hunter. My first level that I didn't even touch with lamps. This has all been baby implings. You're probably curious as to how long that took me, by the way. The XP is currently at 125 an hour. Hopefully we can keep this rate up. Uh, I think that's actually pretty damn good for only using one other alt. What a coincidence. Look at that. A cold one actually messaged me like literally 30 minutes ago and showed me that he got a rune crossbow from a lucky impling and he's caught three of them in total, which is, uh, yeah, hopefully we get that kind of luck. Well, it's been a long day. Yup. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay this is it the final baby impling if i could catch it thank you 29 hunter achieved which means i can now trap swamp lizards what a relief my god that was probably like a 25 hour grind for two levels and I'm not even exaggerating. Next time, I'm gonna get a lot more people to help me. I thought I could do this uh, relatively solo. I had one friend helping me out. Okay, with that done, let's do the thing I've been waiting to do for half a year now. So I wanted to come over here first to scope this area out because I never really gave it a proper look. Uh, there's a hunting spot here, as you can see on the map, uh, that was added on June of 2018. It was added along with the Theater of Blood, and it's basically never used. The most popular spot for Hunter currently is near Canifus, and there's something about this new spot that I think will be pretty revolutionary. If you notice something about the Canifus spot, there are only three traps, which makes sense because no one would still be hunting swamp lizards once they can use four traps. You just go literally anywhere else, except me. There are so many trap spots in this new location. All my hunter estimates were based on using three traps from level 40 hunter to level 99. But this means I can hunt with five once I hit 80, meaning I'll be shaving off about 60 hours for my hunter grind just by using a different hunter spot. I'm just gonna buy two ropes for now and hopefully I don't lose them. And of course, the second piece of the puzzle, the small fishing net that I've been waiting to use. I'm satisfied already. I haven't even done anything yet. All right, let's set our first one. Oh, pinnacle moment, pinnacle freaking moment, guys. Look at it. Oh, we caught one. 152 experience per swamp lizard compared to the 20 I was getting per baby impling. That is wonderful. I think I'm gonna like it here. First hunter level 30 hunter. And as you can see, my XP rates are quite literally 600 times better than what I was getting like an hour ago. So that's pretty damn great. Thirty-eight Hunter, I think that's a good stopping point for now because I can now catch gourmet implings barehanded. So that's an unlock, but I have something very, very important to do. So let's go do it. It has been a long, long time since I've been down here, but this time I'm coming down with a purpose. The first time I cut this, I did not have the ball of wool, but this time I do. Let's string it. 
Salve amulet made. There it is, man. So the salve amulet means I can now do 16% extra damage and accuracy against the undead. And if I go up to Tarn's Lair, I can enchant this thing and boost it all the way up to 20% boost, which is insane. Before taking on the theater, I'm going to want completely maxed out melee stats, and the salve amulet is going to help me do just that. With an extra 20% damage and accuracy, it's going to speed up my melee training significantly. The most important enemy that it works on for me are shades. I believe that shades are going to have a very important use in our future when it comes to training. Aside from that, we have some hunter training to do. To achieve 99 Hunter, I need to catch 85,674 Swamp Lizards. Welcome to my new home. <laughs>